uh, is uh, Felipe Zabala from Brazil. Uh, Felipe is going to be telling us about the uh, aptly for this conference named Software Voice. So take it away, Felipe. Thank you, Professor Dennis. Can you hear me? Are okay. you listening to me? Okay, thank you. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for accepting my work. Uh, I think it's a very useful tool to deal with audio in general, but I'm working uh, uh, focus on voice because this work was motivated by the need to automatically assign a severity grade in psychiatry patient screenings. So I thought that I must have a, a good tool to deal with audio and all the tools available were very difficult to work. We have to write a lot, lot of, 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 of lighting codes and that was very boring, really. So uh, may I share my screen with you with audio? Okay, sharing, you must be seeing my screen. Uh, well, Everything begins in my homepage, philippezabala.com. It's an open uh, web page. I, when I teach some contents from statistics, I always use my open materials here. And here we have uh, uh, some information about the voice package. We have the official CRAN uh, website where you can download the stable version of the, the software. But of course, you can see some uh, vignettes that make it easier to begin with the, the, the coding. Well, my idea today is, is run the code with you live. That's a, maybe a, a dangerous thing to do, but uh, I think it's going to work. And well, you have uh, information about the installation of the package. You have a minimal installation. You can uh, do uh, download the stable version. You can go to the development version. Uh, and that, that is the version that I will use here for this presentation. And well, let me share my screen with my RStudio screen. I'm here with uh, the same code that I have in Vignette, but with a little bit uh, more things to, to work with you. First of all, I'm gonna show you three uh, three point of views or three three approaches from the package. The extract feature approach that indeed uh, intends to extract the voice characteristic features uh, in, a, in just one code line. We have the tag feature that will be. Uh, an enrichment of a canonical data set, uh, the, the, the everyday data sets. And we have the poetry approach that will cut the, the words in the best order, best spoken order. Well, first of all, we have some WAV files here from example, from the REST package. And we have the same guy speaking nine times uh, German phrase. Ich muss guten sagen. Ich muss Duden sagen. Ich muss Geule sagen. Ich muss, uh, I must do something. Okay. So, uh, how do I extract some features from these nine audios? Well, using the voice package, you may use the extract feature function, and you just have to say extract features from this directory, this uh, directory wave files. This, that uh, contain the, the nine the nine wave files. So if you run this this code line, you in a few seconds have a, a analytical database where the line means you have a slice in each five milliseconds of the audio. So each second has two hundred lines, two hundred rows in a data set and the columns are the information the features you can extract from the audio in this case we have 58 features extracted uh, by by default okay 
So uh, we can take a look at, at the, the content of the, the, the object M. Uh, and I call M because I call a media data set. The media data set has these, these characteristics to, to has, have slices of the audio in, in the rows and information features in the columns. Well, this is a very important function in the, in the package because everything else uses this function. I began extracting features, well, then analyzing it. After that, I have the tag approach. Well, I have a database here. I, of course, I'm using a very simple database to show the first example. Then we have three subjects, one, two, three, each of them repeating three times uh, and speak a spoken audio. Indeed, it's the same guy. I just labeled one, two, three to show the example to you, okay? Well, what do we have here? If we tag this data frame, we go to each of these files and extract all the features summarizing it and returning a summarized data frame uh, by, by audio. So the first audio has the F0, that is the fundamental frequency, that is the vocal cords frequency, vibrations by second, and it has mean of 85.4 hertz in this, this sample. Uh, we have standard deviation, coefficient, variation coefficient, median, interquartile range, and median absolute deviation according to Turkey uh, 1977. Well, when we can have this, this structure summarized by subject, we can make the same approach, tag approach, but we can summarize by the subject. So the first subject has 85.5 of F0 mean. We have 15.3 of standard deviation, 0.18 of variation coefficient, and so on, all the summarizing uh, measures, okay? So this makes everything really, really easy to, to work because I, I, I wrote some, something like uh, 500 code lines to, to get this, this is in just one, one line to, to make it make our life easier, okay? Well, so uh, we have a, a good a good uh, consequence of these functions that I call voice to sheet because I think is it, it is possible to convert the voice in musical sheet. So we can put it to, uh, in a way that we can play it. Well, we'll, we'll see. Let me show you. So I'm, I'm gonna download some audio. That's me speaking do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do in Portuguese, okay? I speak Portuguese, I'm from Brazil. So that's the audio you can hear from, from the HTML. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. And must be correct the tone. Okay, well, so what do you have? We may convert this MP3 to two wave. I will extract only the F0 feature. That is the vocal cord frequency, the most important feature according to literature. And I will make the plot. I will plot this extracted F0, okay? So we have something like that. That's each point is a slice in each five milliseconds from my audio and the inferred F0 from each five milliseconds. So my, my C3, my C is here. Indeed is a C3, I will show you. A C, a D. An E that became one octave higher. I, I still don't know why, but, but it's perfectly one octave higher. F, 
G, A, B, and again, the, the, the C, but it's a C4, as I will show you. Well, this is just description, the description, the visual description from the F0 extraction. Well, so what? So we will get this feature. I will use the medium because it is a very stable uh, uh, central, central uh, summarizing uh, feature. And I will get the node generated by that median. So this C, what's the median of that point, that, that, set, of, that, uh, that set of points? Well, if it, if it was uh, 4440 40, hertz, it will be an A4. My function nodes gives you the, the, the scientific notation from a, a number, okay? We have a table here that gets all the, the scientific notation and other kinds of notations to as a, as, a, as a reference, okay? So if I get the median from the first 150 points, okay, I, I, I did it manually, if you don't mind, just to, to make it shorter. Uh, this is a note that I called note one. And we have a median of 129.7 hertz, okay? What's that note? What's the scientific note? Is a C3. I just got the median, okay? And if I did from, and if I make it for the next set of points, that, that, that D that I made it, well, the median is 100, 104, 143, 0.2 hertz, and this is a D3. And the next one, an E4, the next one, an F3, and the next one, a G3, the next one, A3, and that B3, and a C4. We got all the notes, okay? Just getting the median of the F0, extract by one row of, of code, one line of code, it's a very, very, fast thing, okay? Okay, so we have the notes that I sang with my voice. So I will put it in a beautiful playable sheet, okay? So I manually said to my, to my code, note one, two, three, eight, eight, because my last C was a little bit longer than the other notes. So, well, then I got the, the duration of the notes, the, the, the scientific notation notes and the duration. The last note, the, the last C is, has a two times duration, okay? Then I get the, the GM software by Ren Fei Mao, is a Chinese guy, very, very, uh, I'm very friendly when I exchange some message with him. And he created this great, great package called GM, generated, generating music that, well, we'll call the, some free tools and put it all together in this. So, I got the notes that I sang with my voice. I transform it automatically in numbers, in frequencies. Then I put it in the scientific pitch notation and put it in a musical sheet to just, just play and see the music, you know? And this is a very, I think a very, has a very, has a, great potential of, of using because, well, I can imagine a lot of things with this, okay? That's it. Well, for, for the, the final, my final words, I will just show you the poetry approach uh, according to, to Coleridge, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, poetry 
are the is the the best words in their best order. So that's what we got here. We're gonna run a function called poetry that will cut this, the best spoken words from an, a long uh, audio, okay? I go to the work by bike, okay? So I, I always, I'm always recording my, my the sounds around me, including my ideas. I'm just in my bike and I have an idea and I, and I speak and this, this recorder just, yeah, idea. So I have an audio of one hour, one hour and a half. Okay. Then I put it in a in a in a poetry function and we'll show you the, the result. Well, this is a free audio from Sherlock Holmes in public domain. Okay. I got this first, uh, this first chapter is, is a... The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Okay, this is a very long audio. I got the first 20 seconds of this, this audio to cut it with a voice, so I can give you an example. So I'm downloading the, the MP3, is everything open in my, my GitHub page. And well, I'm just converting to WAV file and applying the poetry function. So I'm just telling to this function, I have an, uh, an, an WAV file and I, I want to define where is the spoken parts, okay? And this will generate an RTTM file. It's a, it's a golden standard to, to recording the beginning of a of a, of a vocal speak and the duration, okay? Among our other things. Well, it will take a lot, uh, about uh, 20 seconds to run this, but okay, it's over. So we have So we have this file extracted right now from this this the first 20 seconds let me play it to you the, the the original file was this the adventures of sherlock holmes a collection of short stories by sir arthur conan doyle all librivox recordings are in the public domain and for further information please visit librivox.org this recording by david clark based in dallas fort worth texas bgdavid.wordpress.com, bgcoffee.net. So the algorithm got eight parts of, of spoken, spoken words, and then I will finally split the wave. Split wave is a, is a voice function that I say the wave files here and the RTTM will indicate where to cut the audio. So I will do it. This is a very fast 0.4 seconds to cut. Then we have eight files, okay? So we have this, this, BG oh, Coffee sorry. And we have this result. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, a collection of short stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. And for further information, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by David Clark, based in Dallas Fort Worth, Texas, bgdavid.wordpress.com, bgcoffee.net. Automatic. Okay. So this is very useful when you work with audio files. And we are using it in in some linguistics works uh, in a multidisciplinary team that we have here in, in Cook and Orgs where I work and study. And well, I think we have a, a great, uh, great uh, opportunities and things to do with this kind of tool. Okay. So if you want to follow my work, you may access my website. Okay? I have my GitHub page with all the audios, with all the files that I, that I write, all the, the packages that I 
make it make make available. And that's it. Thank you for your attention.